giving you an opportunity to get the full story from the people who tell it best. This is Mediacom News Leaders. Hello, I'm Elizabeth Kling with Mediacom News Leaders. We're talking with Jen Hummel right now, the 2018 March for Babies Chair. And Jen, thanks so much for coming in. Uh, let's talk a little bit, first of all, about the March of Dimes, which the March for Babies benefits, of course. Um, tell us about the mission uh, of the March of Dimes. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Elizabeth. Um, really, March of Dimes works to help advise mothers about how they can be healthy and how their babies can be healthy. And we work to prevent birth defects, infant mortality, and really promote having less premature births then as well. And then tell us about then what is the March for Babies yeah. and how that all fits together. Yeah, so March for Babies is just a great opportunity for us to come together as a community. And it really feels like a family when we all walk together and we, we celebrate the babies that we're walking with and we remember the babies that we've lost. So it's just a great opportunity to come together. And tell us about then how you got involved in the March for Babies in the first place and, and decided to serve as chair. Yeah, so um, March for Babies is very close to, close to my heart. Uh, God has blessed Jaren, my husband and I, with two wonderful kids. Hudson was born at 37 weeks, and so he was able to come home from the hospital with us at just after three days. And then Eleanor, who is six now, uh, she was born a little bit earlier. So she had to spend some time in the NICU, and um, with the help of March of Dimes and wonderful doctors and nurses, of course, we were able to bring her home from the NICU. And at the time that we brought her home from the NICU, we knew we were bringing home a healthy baby. And really, we, we were blessed to be able to do that, and, and it's, it's directly related with the March of Dimes. So tell us then a little bit more about um, what people can expect at the, the March for Babies and maybe what, what you're looking forward to uh, yeah. there. Yeah, so March for Babies is on Saturday, May 5th. It is in Ankeny at the DMAC campus. Registration will start at 8 o'clock and then there will be a DJ, which is exciting, <laughs> and bouncy houses, face painters, just really a bunch of fun, fun family activities. Um, we will start the walk at nine o'clock. We're gonna walk rain or shine, so hopefully the weather's <laughs> great. I'm ordering some 72 degree yes. weather. So, Fingers crossed. Um, that would be great, but really just looking forward to spending that time with our community and, and being able to, to celebrate everybody. So tell us about then how people can get involved. This will be mm -hmm. um, May 5th, but in the, in the lead up to that, there's a lot of important fundraising that's taking place. Um, how do people get involved in that and what advice do you have for them? Yeah, so um, we'd love for everybody to go to marchforbabies.org. There they can register themselves. They can join a team that's already there. They can start their own team. Um, also be on the lookout on social media for some fun ways to, to get involved. I know um, one of my uh, the gyms that I work out in is going to have a spinning day where all of the donations are gonna go to March for Babies. And I know there's also some opportunities throughout our community that we are going to have other fundraising activities too. So social media is always a great way to look and see how yeah. you can get involved. Keep an eye out for it. For people who have never really gotten involved in being part of the, the fundraising effort for an organization, uh, maybe it's a little intimidating for mm -hmm. them. Can you kind of give us some advice on that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, well, we, we live in a wonderful community where I feel like there's so much support. And I know that my team at Robert Half Management Resources has fully supported me as being the chair this year and all my fundraising activities. Um, really, it, it, you just have to make the ask. I know it can be really daunting and hard, but um, was that, that great Wayne Gretzky quote, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So um, what's the worst anybody's gonna say? They can say no, but you just don't know unless you make the ask. And really, it's as simple as on social media, being able to share your page and ask from your family and your friends. So in this great community that we live in, um, there's so many supporters and so many great ways to be involved. Yeah, and a lot of generous people out there for sure. Well, if people would like more information about about um, getting involved in the March for Babies, um, mm -hmm. where can they go? Yeah, so that website, marchforbabies.org, that's a great place. Also, we have on Facebook where we have March of Dimes, the Iowa chapter. Mm -hmm. That's a great place to, to look and see where we, there's more information there as well. All right, Jen, thanks so much for your time today. Yeah. We appreciate it. Thank you. We've been talking with Jen Hummel, the 2018 March for Babies chair. Join us next time here on Mediacom News Leaders.